Ahino, we all know that one scary looking face that is all over the internet, even in Nextbot games. She looks like a, I don't know, some type of doll. And those scary teeth with blood all around and, and, you know, her eyes that has blood as well. Well, where does she come from? You know, that's what we're interested in learning right now. What even is she? Her image origins come from 2004, a post on 2chan showing an image of a Japanese doll in horrific conditions. 2chan it was like the original 4chan basically they're not by the same people 2chan was like a japanese version it was like the the original and then you know came 4chan some years later in 2007 an anonymous user on 2chan would publish a thread saying this girl looks horrible make your magic and make her cute this is where the trend make me cute came from before the picture ever came out in the japanese internet culture it was first used as a chain letter that would say which basically means if you don't post this image on another image board within one hour something terrible will happen at the end of the year there are also people who died because they didn't send this picture which is like you know those old facebook sayings like oh if you don't post this on another facebook or if you don't like comment share this with another person or something you will die or whatever though there were a few images similar to this that appeared in 2004 there are two theories about this one explains that the image had appeared on a thread with from a japanese website and the second one suggests that the image had been shared on the internet after 2005. a user named the contacted a few users about the image of that doll and all of them replied to seeing it on the bulletin board after that year proving the second theory might be true in this manner. Japanese netizens claim that the image began to circulate on the internet in mid-2004, when image boards such as 2chan started to grow even more after the infamous Neo Mogicha incident happened. However, it was only recognized when a 2chan anonymous user made a threat in 2007, saying, Which basically means, this dude is scary as f so you guys have to somehow use your power to try to make it look cute. And then the threat started to fill in with the same picture, but edited and overshopped to make it look cuter. The image was also referred to by Japanese netizens as After researching the image, it was found that it was originally a doll with unkept hair and broken arms, which was found through the logs of Futaba channel. The image became such a huge meme in Japan that every time a Japanese netizen saw it, they would say, which basically means you again or which means the same as always implying that the picture had become so overused that they didn't want to see it anymore man this this image has been around for quite a long while now hasn't it anyway the image was also used in a creepypasta for one of the characters in the story the story was called gurgles and bugman and featured title characters who unexpectedly broke into people's home and hid in one of the corners of each room a a loud laugh can be heard if the victim approaches them without noticing. Once the victim falls asleep, the two would paralyze him. Prank ended with Bugman drinking from the person's neck with a straw and the show ended with gurgles covering his face, supposedly the picture, all over the screen with a huge sharp grin while he said, see you again soon. Yeah, some creepy stuff all around, Jesus Christ. Anyway, all right, now we're gonna get to the Facebook controversy. Now, I've gotta say that the image and the original creepypasta thing have nothing to do with each other. Obviously, the Facebook thing was came second and the original image came first. So whatever happened with the Facebook incident is really just because of a evil person that, you know, wanted to do this. And actually, this is where it becomes scary because this is actually something that happened in real life. It is unknown where the image got its nickname from, but it is obvious that it came from a Facebook account associated with evil acts. The account in particular had posted strange Latin and Russian coded messages along with coordinate. The account was also known for posting content that was usually a violation of the law. Facebook has blocked the account for posting gruesome content and child the account was also linked to a large number of unsuspecting victims, most of whom were young and were bombarded with disturbing content in their personal messages. Because the nickname is so absurd, it quickly became suited to the image itself. And here was the original Facebook profile. I had 22,000 likes. It was, I think, like a kind of like a group page or something. It said church religious organization. And this was the account that will basically send, um, you know, 10, 
10 to 15 year olds very evil thing it wasn't really very good you know it happened in real life and it, it actually associated with something that happened in real life which is crazy it wasn't just some creepy pasta thing but obviously don't associate the picture or the image with this thing that happened because it has nothing to do with each other they stole the image and they have they did not make the image or anything like that is what i'm trying to say because this came from japan and this thing i have no idea what it is from this screenshot of a hino barbus henicide facebook page was you know this was on july 17 2015 this is one of the earliest posts ever including the photo now it is all in japanese with a little cake with strawberry and merry christmas on it but if we translate it to english pink sweat is hepo sweat merry christmas berimus for the time being i was able to spend a normal christmas yokatayo also i thought shinjo's teeth were too white the three-day holiday is over and i'm going to work again tomorrow it seems that the match between kuran and uil will be next year i hope i said that right. i'll leave christmas Give more and you scroll down and you see this ahino so yeah this was basically the earliest known post using the image it was basically like a little prank haha <laughs> got you prank yeah, ahino but yeah that is basically the story of ahino barbara's henna side now obviously this is the original image it was never really you know um the the, the ahino that you know this is with the original image and you know they told people to make it look scary and people made it look scary japanese people and yeah they came up with this creepy ahino and yeah that is basically the story of ahino barbara's henna side that is her full name and uh, yeah i you know you guys now know the creepy thing that happened on facebook obviously if you guys want a more in-depth video about the facebook incident you guys can go watch scare theater it is another video posted by another awesome creepy horror video guy <laughs> And I'll leave all the links in the pinned comment down below so you guys can go check all that out. Alright, so just a word of caution. I'm on Facebook right now and I search for Ahino Barbara's Henicide. And I must warn you to be careful. Unless you know what you're doing, you should stay away from it. You will find some very weird stuff in here. Like, there is a lot of weird, creepy stuff. Like, this was, you know, one of the original. Yeah, it's, it's, what the, what, this is the, this is the exact reason why you guys should. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, a lot of people that just tag, uh, I guess, Ahino Barbers just to put some, you know, posts. Yeah, oh, that's scary. That's scary. Yeah. What's with the? What's with these? What? Anyway, a lot of these profiles in here that says Ahino Barbers Henocide are obviously going to be fake. There might be some that are actually real, you know, that is more anonymous. I don't know. But then again, I wouldn't be like, look at this. Work set Nico's next one. Like, <laughs> dude, dude, play Nico's next one. Like, this is obviously fake. Stay away from these things on Facebook, you know. Do it at your own risk if you want to search. But what's really creepy are the posts in here that are like tagged of Ahino Barber's Henicide. By the way, we are almost at 100,000 subscribers. So, you know, subscribe if you haven't yet. It would help me out and help us out reach a goal and make more awesome videos. Like I covered Yoshi and this man recently and, you know, now Ahino. So if you want more epic videos like this, you know, subscribe. It would really help me out. I'd appreciate it. So, yeah, on that note, stay epic. And bye.